Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Gemini's filled of flow. Let go of expectations and control. Release freedom and surrender. Oh, spotlight on you, Gemini's. That is for damn sure. Where's this sort of enlightenment energy with you, Gemini's? So, oh. You could be having some really good dreams, Gemini's. You could be getting a lot of interesting inspiration. Who or what is inspiring you now as well, Gemini's? Mm. Good uh, work-life energy, uh, Gemini's. Good work-life energy. And then here comes like uh, romantic opportunities. Achievable goals, achievable dreams. Do you watch your favorite astrologer as well, uh, Gemini? So I feel like astrologically, you're getting a lot of interesting sort of vibes and blessings. And some of you have some interesting insights as well. So those of you, if astronomy has been more fascinating or interesting to you or um, uh, whatever you're kind of paying attention to with uh, your astrology, a lot of learning and growth energy as well, Gemini. It's very abundant energy too. Ugh. Page of Cups, there to the Knight of Cups. Lord have mercy, Gemini's. Some of you are not going to be single for long, but it's when you're focused on you that uh, you kind of bring in the right opportunities. So, damn Gemini's. Fertile energy as well. So, good creative energy. It's a very fertile vibe as well, Gemini's. So, do be mindful of that. Oh, wow, Gemini's. Greek Roman mythology with you, Gemini's. Um, oh, damn, Gemini's. Very fertile. Very fertile energy. King of Wands, there with the world. Oh. Retrograde, I feel like, was very uh, beneficial to you, Gemini's. Uh, Leo season. Uh, whatever your sort of, uh, belief, philosophy, religion, whatever that sort of vibe is with you, Gemini's, take what's yours, leave what's not. Ooh. A lot of growth with you, too. So, Gemini's, be gentle on yourself here. So, some of you could be having some really amazing dreams that bring about some interesting sort of clarity with you, Gemini's. Especially those of you Geminis who are really good at this sort of uh, visualization. So if you're doing any sort of meditation or anything like that, uh, I feel like it's it's a very uh, religious, spiritual, or uh, just a very interesting sort of philosophical vibe with you. Oh. It's not like emotional energy with you, but it's a very moving type vibe. What's like your soundtrack music? So those of you, if you just like to listen to like uh, your favorite soundtrack. Very good creative energy. Four of Pentacles. So some of you, if you've been uh, doing some chakra work, yoga, meditation, there's this sort of stinginess energy with you as well, Gemini's, that uh, I feel works very well with you. Oh, your intuition is definitely on point. Those of you, especially if you've been a little bit uh, ahead of the sort of uh, collective energy here. So, damn Gemini's. There's the Page of Swords. Damn with the Four of Pentacles. What, what switched for you? So, this is more of an enlightenment type energy with you. It's more of a soothing energy with you. It's, it's a beautiful sort of, a, I don't know, that always gives like a Kabbalah vibes. Right? So, damn Gemini's. What has become your sort of uh, center of focus? Oh, I mean, sweet Jesus here, Gemini's. Take what's yours and leave what's not. So, very interesting dreams, very interesting ideas. It's very, it's a very moving energy, but I don't feel like you're overwhelmed. 
So my creatives, this allows for some interesting uh, creativity from you. Some of you are definitely different. So take what's yours and leave what's not. So this is a very, it's actually a very grounded and focused energy with you. It's all about the sort of clearing. It's all about the kind of cleansing energy. It's really good uh, bringing in new sort of vibes, new opportunities, uh, new thoughts, uh, new so some of you new inspirations as well. So damn Gemini's. Those of you with regard to relationships or partnerships, this is kind of the tricky energy with you. So I don't feel like you're not interested, but some of you, it's like the timing on something. So, you know, the surfer knows how to read the surf. So they avoid the, the rip tides, the rip currents. And this is more about enjoyable sort of experiences instead of the not so great uh, options and opportunities. There's the Ten of Cups. Oh, there's the Three of Swords. There's the Three of... It is definitely not lack of opportunities with you, Gemini's. But some of you are, it, it's far more of a clarity with you. So there's a, there's a seriousness when it comes to this Ten of Cups. So some of you Geminis, you've, you've had that conversation. You know what's important to you. And your your relationships or partnerships are going to be different. Because your viewpoint on things is different now. So some of you, not everyone's going to like this sort of, uh, I don't know, whatever the fuck you want to call it, Geminis. Um, this interesting sort of energy with you definitely brings about better relationships or partnerships and more sort of rewarding relationships or partnerships. Some of you on a level that you probably never even imagined, but it comes down to this sort of seriousness when it comes to, uh, you, a lot of healing and growth on this. It's a very... It's a rather uneventful energy because you're you're like doing all that sort of inward growth, that sort of inward journey with you. Beautiful inspiration and aspirational energy. Those of you Gemini's has pulled more focus on work. This does feel like a good work energy with you. Yeah, look at that. That eight of cups. This is optimistic about relationships or partnerships, Gemini's. So where's your optimism? Where's that optimism? So, damn. Really good dating vibes, Gemini's. It's really good energy. But... <laughs> King of Swords there. there. There you are, Gemini's. There you are. So, damn. So, a lot of choices, a lot of options. I love that for you, Gemini's. It could, for some of you, it shouldn't be overwhelming. So, you got some interesting choices to make. Never hurts to pull focus back on yourself, especially those of you that's kind of... I feel like you're on your own little journey here with whatever this is uh, when it comes to you, Gemini's. Religion, philosophy. Inspiration. A lot of this is very inward as well. So that's what makes the difference here, Gemini's. Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords there with the Page of Swords. I definitely feel like someone is sending you peace, love, and light. But that's like a generic energy, Gemini's, when you're kind of sending out them sort of positive vibes. So this is like expect the unexpected, but it's like positive energy. There's definitely a lot of positive vibes on this. That's what makes the difference. Yeah, as we pull out the sun card, the happiest card in the deck. So where's that? Where's that? What is that sort of Ten of Cups happiness? So, Gemini, some of you could be maybe the more serious one when it comes to relationships or partnerships. And that's kind of a switch up with you. So... Damn, Gemini's. You choose your partners, you choose your partnerships, right? So, hmm. What's your favorite Sound of Music song? The hills are alive with the sound of music. 
Climb every mountain. So damn Gemini's. For those of you that's doing the work, those of you that's focusing more on you, whatever this sort of enlightenment energy is, uh, as well with you, Gemini's, uh, philosophical, religion, whatever the hell, uh, take what's yours and leave what's not. Good energy when you have the power of positivity there. I know y'all get sick of that, but it is, are you optimistic? Where's the optimism at? Those of you with the, the good inspiration, inspirational, aspirational with you, Gemini's. You always got the three of cups, the three of swords energy. So it's it's never lack of, it's kind of quality of here, Gemini's. Work, love, life. So those of you compartmentalizing, uh, very interesting sort of a uh, switch up in energy with you. Do watch your favorite astrologer as well, uh, Gemini's, because I feel like astrologically there's some interesting sort of blessings energy there. And that's going to be different because y'all are different, right? Ah. <sighs> Wow, Gemini's. Ooh, haunted staircase. Don't let what ifs haunt you. Regrets, unsaid words, and missed opportunities. Damn, Gemini's. Those of you that's far more focused on this sort of positive energy with you. Some of you moving through a lot of that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. A lot of growth here, uh, Gemini's. So where's the growth at? when it comes to you oh my oh my gemini's sweet jesus gemini's sweet gemini bum, bum, bum. Uh, waxy nostalgic the nine of wands There with the Knight of Pentacles. Do watch your favorite astrologer. There with the Ten of Wands. Oh, wow, Gemini's. Ah. Keep on the sunny side alive. Ooh, my creatives. What are you doing? Someone needs to be doing comedy. Someone needs to be doing comedy. Stop and think it over. Try to put yourself in my unique position. Ooh. Damn, Gemini's. Unexpected growth. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Watching the tides roll away. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Ooh, my creatives. This is a good, uh, some of y'all, this could be a good collaboration energy. Uh, what's your inspiration as well here, Gemini? Some of you could definitely be switching up, like, the whole dynamics of something. So, mm. Gemini, a lot of you are going to get that uh, opportunity to kind of showcase uh, a lot of your gifts or talents. It uh, brings about some rather interesting vibes and opportunities. Don't limit yourself. I mean, you got Hank Williams, Otis Redding, and Lady Gaga there. So those of you, maybe uh, switch up your playlist. Uh, uh, pay attention to things uh, a tad bit more differently. What is your inspiration right now? What is this about? If this is a religious or spiritual journey or a philosophical journey with you, Gemini's, uh, there's a lot of almost sort of contradictory energy there as well. Uh, so, mm. damn for fuck's sake, Gemini's. Some of you better relationships or partnerships or different relationships or partnerships, Gemini's. So those of you that choose the same sort of partners, partnerships all the time and you get stuck in this sort of energy. So be mindful of that energy, Gemini's. So those of you that kind of keep going back into shit relationships or partnerships wondering why they don't work instead of allowing yourself like new opportunities. 
That Ten of Cups, I'm telling you, Geminis, what what's, what do you want? What does that look like for you? What is that about when it comes to you? So, I mean, it's definitely a lot of choices or options. I don't feel like that's uh, kind of limiting you right now. It's kind of quality of. Especially those of you that really don't switch it the fuck up much. So you could have a particular type or there's like just you always choose the same sort of shit relationships or partnerships. There's like good vibes here, but some of you, it's it's not like stuck stagnant relationships or partnerships. Uh, where's this sort of happiness when it comes to you? Some of you definitely switching it the fuck up. So, uh, damn, again with the sort of three of swords energy. <laughs> Those of you Gemini's, it's kind of like doing your own thing and you're happy in this energy. That really does make the difference. It's a very moving energy as well. So, creatives, this allows for a really good... Uh, what's the vibe here? The really good... Uh, connectiveness. Oh, sweet Jesus, Gemini's. Some of you, that's where the stagnation is. Especially those of you that's doing the work. I feel like some of you, the relationships or partnerships wanting to come towards you are shit. Some of you even know they're shit. So, you know what I mean here, Gemini's? Those of you pulling focus back on yourself. This is definitely you, more you-centric as well. Because, damn... Things are working out for you. Things are going good for you. Don't muck up that energy with some of y'all just shit relationships or partnerships. Take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't here, Gemini's. Do watch your favorite astrologer. Where's the four of pentacles? Happiest card in the deck. You pulled that out twice, Gemini's. Queen of cups energy. King of cups energy. Lord have mercy. Will of Fortune. So, for fuck's sake, Gemini's. I say better opportunities. Focus on what's more important to you now. I love the Will of Fortune vibes with you, Gemini's. Very good lucky astrology. Or whatever the fuck you're paying attention to, Gemini's. Each one of you is going to be different. Some of you, this could be a good working relationship or partnership before there's like a romantic energy on it. And I feel like that's like two different sort of options or opportunities with you, Gemini's. You pulled the sun card twice, so it's positive energy. So making positive choices. Oi, what's that ten of cups mean to you? What's that about? So definitely take what's yours and leave what's not, Gemini. Some of y'all, those relationships or partnerships are shit. So it's three of swords, three of cups energy. Now's not the time. Pulling focus uh, back on you. Some of y'all switching it up. Uh, there could be a good sort of collaboration energy when it comes to you. Uh, switch things up. So interesting sort of vibe with you. So don't stay stuck or stagnant. And damn, don't let your emotions overwhelm you either. Because that really does make the difference with you. Stay moisturized, stay hydrated. I know you're doing the work. So that vibe is sort of taking care of itself here. And then the emotional sort of energy here. Ooh, Gemini's. Especially those of you that have no lack of partners or opportunities. So, you know... It just kind of is what it is. You have choices, you have options, you have opportunities. Uh, what's your main focus right now? Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles. They're with the Nine of Wands. I like Retrograde's been really good for you. 
A lot of good creative energy as well, Geminis. A lot of good creative energy. There's the Ace of Swords. Definitely feel like your intuition is on point. Gemini's, what's your signature color? For a lot of you, what, what, what color is sort of inspiring you now? Those of you, if you use like stones or um, crystals, uh, some of y'all could be doing color therapy. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Mm. I'm liking the teal vibes with you. I'm liking the teal vibes with you. Greenish blue. Is that your hue? Interesting complexity as well. Oh, damn Gemini's. Take what's yours, leave what's not Gemini's. Uh, I, don't know, I feel relationships or partnerships, uh, that's your choice. Uh, what's your main focus? A lot of you good inspiration energy here. Some of y'all good collabor collaboration energy as well. So keep that sort of creativity going. I like the shuffle vibes as well with you, Geminis. So, Damn. Where's that inspiration? Gangnam style with that uh, page of wands. Hey, sexy lady. Bump, 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 bump. So my choreographers calling on my creatives. Ooh. Work, love, life, take what's yours, leave what's not. I'm loving the King and Queen of Cups. So some of you Geminis, this could be, you got some interesting choices to make. So I don't feel like it's lack of opportunities, uh, Geminis. So, you know, you've got some choices to make. What's your sort of focus right now? Some of y'all, this could be a good friendship, a working relationship or partnership. Some of y'all, a better romantic relationship or partnership. Uh... You always got that three of swords energy. So those of you that have plenty of options and opportunities, you know. So those of you, once you pull focus on yourself, once you bring about this interesting sort of switch up in energy with you and choices and options, uh, not everyone's going to like the fact that you focused on you. A lot of good fun energy. So you pulled the sun card twice. That's the happiest card in the deck. So where's the where's the positivity at when it comes to you, Gemini's? Where's the positivity at when it comes to you, Gemini's? Some of you, if this is spiritual with you or uh, philosophical with you or whatever the fuck this sort of journey you've been on has been absolutely beautiful. Very enlightening, very liberating. It's a lot of growth energy as well. But as you move forward, everything kind of changes. So... I love your energy, Gemini's. Definitely positive energy. I definitely feel like there's relationships or partnerships. Some of you already have relationships or partnerships. But are they really like happy, productive relationships or partnerships? Some of you switching up the type of uh, relationships or partnerships is going to make the difference. Because I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like you're more the sort of stubborn one, Gemini's. Especially those of you that are very optimistic about the Ten of Cups. So, not just any relationship or partnership will do. Ooh. Yeah, any dream will do. Yeah, I don't think so. So, damn Gemini's. 
A lot of attention, Gemini. So. <laughs> Trusting your instincts, your intuition, or whatever this sort of uh, enlightenment energy is with you. I like the soundtrack vibes, uh, Gemini's. Because what movie does that remind you of? Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave what's not. Uh, positive. There's a lot of positive energy, and then there's just sort of life energy. A lot of relationships or partnerships. Some of y'all, new opportunities. Could be a good uh, collaboration energy. Uh, some of y'all, a good romantic uh, option, opportunity. Oh, take what's yours and leave what's not. What's your focus? Do watch your favorite astrologer. I feel like your astrology is uh, giving you a nice little... Uh, inspiration uh blessings energy too so good luck god bless take what's yours leave what's not like share subscribe gemini's